Hello everyone. I know it's been a while since I made a video. Sometimes it just gets beyond me <laughs> to get this done and set up my phone, you know, blah blah, etc, etc. Hope you're having an awesome May. Month just started. Anyway, I just finished my chunkiest, biggest journal ever. Even though I've only been doing this for a couple of years. Um, this was a crossword puzzle book with a spiral bound spine that I covered with fabric which came out so chunky and just so delicious if you will and that's the front cover that's the back cover and now we'll get through the flip through with limited narration unless you know there's something I want to share but thank you so much for watching enjoy My daughter asked me if I was hungry or if I was angry when I started to tear out these corners. And no, she's not a child. <laughs> she's a grown woman. While making this book, I discovered how much I love a master board. I mean, of course, who doesn't love glue and paper together? But I was like, what am I going to do with them? And so those became some of my favorite pages in this book, like this page here. I mean, they're scattered throughout the book. But especially, this is two different master, master boards or collages, and then prints from my pulley. And just it's just so much fun to see how much you could add because more is more and of course my printed wax paper some of its over dye from other prints experimenting with faces since I'm not an artist it's a it's implied that it's a face but anyway I love saving this paper and just putting it everywhere this is also one of my favorite pages most of the pages I didn't seal down with Mod Podge but the ones that I did I think add a really nice shine, a little burst of shine and shimmer where I did add them in. Like I said, this book took me a little over eight months, turned out to be 86 pages. This book originally had about 250 pages in it, so some I tore out to save, most I glued together. But it still came out to be just an awesome size. If I did this again, I think I would glue together a few less pages so it would be even thicker once it got all embellished. But anyway, also masterboard tags. And just a random pocket since there really wasn't a pocket in here. And a tiny cluster here. And of course, Ikea is my favorite catalog to use the graphics out of, so Ikea is what's throughout this book. And then some tracing on tracing paper. 
like this book just allowed me to use every technique I thought I saw anywhere so it was really fun I can't wait to do another one of course magazine pages this one's not Mod Podge that's why it's so matte but I think I'm going to leave it just like this and of course you can tell the difference with the Mod Podge pages with a little bit of shimmer and shine And there we go. That's the last of it. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great week. Bye-bye.